Well, out, out of the three sticking points that I had talked about before the conference, two has been solved. Uh, so we now have uh, a, a decision on safeguards and a decision on MRV on, on national reference level. So uh, pretty good decisions, I think. Obviously not perfect, uh, but I think pretty good decisions that move us forward to implementation of RED at the national level, which is really what this is all about. I mean, politically, RED was accepted in Cancun. We're now trying to move it forward to implement it. And so with safeguards, information system, and with, uh, with reference levels, we're moving that forward. The final piece, which is still uh, being negotiated in these last few hours, the, the final pieces of the, the, the final, the final agreement on that is on red plus finance for what's called the third phase when 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 results based actions are going to be paid for what are results based actions well when emissions have actually been reduced uh, because of uh, because of interventions uh, in a red plus strategy of a country so uh, we're trying to figure out who will pay for that, how that will be paid for, what are the modalities, what are the role of markets in paying for these reductions uh, in, in, in the future. And we're not yet there. It's, uh, and I'm chairing that, that this, this last piece, uh, this set of negotiations, and, and it's been tough. I mean, the whole week we have been meeting three, six, sometimes nine hours in a day, sometimes up to two in the morning, uh, including last night up to midnight. Um, and we have systematically reduced our disagreements, and we're now down literally to one footnote. Can you talk about what is mentioned in that footnote? Well, it's about... It's about uh, uh, what's called MRV systems, you know, measurement, reporting, and verification systems, whether they have to be national or sub-national, uh, and how do you, ref uh, how do you uh, refer to that in an agreement like what we're doing in, in, um, in, in Durban. See, some countries, uh, very few, uh, want to have what's called sub-national uh, systems. While most of us, actually including me, think that mesh MRV systems have to be national. So there's this debate uh, and we need to put a footnote, very carefully written footnote, to, to try to reconcile the two positions. I, I actually disagree. I mean, and, and I, I didn't share that, but I, I, I negotiated for the Philippines for, for the safeguards negotiation, and, and I think it's not true that the safeguards were, were diluted. Certainly, I would have wanted stronger guidance on what's called the information system for safeguards, and we, we only got something moderately uh, good. I mean, uh, but not bad. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's perfect. Uh, but you know the enemy of the good is the perfect in this negotiation. So I think it's very important to to live with what you can achieve, with the most that you can achieve, and pretty confident that's what we have in the safeguards and in the reference levels uh, decisions. Country has their own interests. So Brazil has their interests. Uh, I respect them a lot for the consistency with which they have put forth their positions. They have been very flexible, moved a lot in these negotiations, and, and if, in fact, if, in, if in fact we get this disagreement, I, I, would, uh, I would congratulate Brazil for their flexibility. So, but that's true for almost all the countries here, for all the countries for that matter. You know, uh, uh, in a negotiation, uh, people have to move, right, from the original position to something more common, and, and that has happened. A facilitator like me is not the one that can force that. I can only facilitate that, make that happen through to various exercises. And, and I think we're succeeding in, in doing that. I, I, I feel, you know, I feel it, I can taste it almost, but it'll take a few more hours to really see that uh, happen. For, for Red Plus, with the finance piece in place, hopefully, by the end of this uh, COP, uh, we would be able to move forward to implementation. And uh, we hope that this, this finance decision is supposed to send a signal to, um, to, to markets, to investors, to governments that Red Plus is a good way forward to managing and protecting our forests while protecting climate and benefiting people.